I was listening to a news report about the bus crash that killed 10 people in West Texas. And I noticed that the uh, convicts were identified by the state official as offenders. And I wondered immediately why he chose the word offenders. And I think it's a very intentional choice of offenders rather than convicts because convict says more about something that happened to you, you were convicted. Offender says that you have done something. So it's a reminder in the name that you are where you are because of something you did. Which takes me to the topic of forgiveness that we're looking at from now through the middle of February. One of the things that I think God has in mind for us with the forgiveness that God offers is that it's hard for us to accept forgiveness because sometimes we don't want to deal with the seriousness of our offense. We want to overlook just how much damage sin has done, just how broken we are. So we talk easily about forgiveness, about how God offers forgiveness for everybody and for everything to the point that it almost doesn't have any meaning. So this last Sunday we looked at Leviticus and the Levitical sacrificial system and how deeply involved the person who was offering the sacrifice was in all the blood and the gore of the sacrifice. And I contend that that's because we need to be completely in touch with just how broken we are, with the truth that the sin and the brokenness and the damage is us. It's our problem and that there's no way without forgiveness we can make it work. Thanks be to God that God is a forgiving God. But until we come to grips with the depth, but until we come to grips with the reality of our offense, it's hard for us to grasp the reality and the power that forgiveness offers us.